Thanks, Kevin. And now we turn to ABC 17's Megan Drakis, who is live in Columbia this morning. Megan, officials say you should have a few specific things on hand before that storm hits tonight. So good morning. Now officials say that you should do your shopping before the storm hits so that you're out here safely. But all morning I've been seeing dozens of people pour into this almost packed parking lot at the Hy-Vee along Nifong. Now FEMA recommends that you do stock up with food and water for at least three days for everyone in your family, as well as essential items such as medication, a battery powered radio and a first aid kit. It's also recommended to have extra flashlights and batteries on hand in case you lose power. Now earlier this morning, I spoke with an assistant manager at the Hy-Vee along Nifong, and he told me about the most popular items selling out right now, which personally caught me by surprise. Bananas is probably the most popular item. Uh, and then milk, bread, eggs, cheese. Now Zola, the Hy-Vee manager also said that they are getting a delivery here at noon at the Hy-Vee along Nifong and said they'll be getting in frozen products, dairy products and some meat products. So if you're looking for those today, you might want to swing by here around noon. Now I'm going to bring in ABC 17 Storm Track meteorologist Kevin Schneider. And Kevin, if people are searching for those products today and need to get them before the storm hits, when's the last possible second that they should go out before they should stay inside? Yeah, guys, I wouldn't be uh, very comfortable heading into the overnight hours especially, but I think it's really any time after sunset. We're going to see these temperatures in the upper 40s, so we might have maybe a couple of hours before we see the impacts out on those roadways. But Seeing those temperatures dropping dramatically after about 6 and 7 o'clock. You want to be home by then before those roads start to deteriorate. I'll take you through what's going to unfold later on tonight here in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you, Kevin and Megan. Be sure to tune in to ABC 17 News tomorrow morning starting at an earlier time at 430 to bring you those latest snow conditions in mid-Missouri.